If you've been anywhere near a cinema in the last year, you can't have missed seeing that all the big movies are being made in 3D. Now you too can make your movies in 3D with MovieStorm. First of all, you're going to need a pair of 3D glasses. The cheap cardboard ones you get in DVDs will do just fine. There will be some 3D bits in this tutorial, but it's okay. You can watch it in 2D. You don't need to do anything different to make your movie in 3D. You can just film it as normal. When you render your movie, select the custom setting and then check the 3D option. MovieStorm now renders your movie as two side-by-side -side images, one for each eye. Upload your movie directly to YouTube and it'll come out in 3D. That's it! If you prefer to upload your movie to YouTube manually, you'll need to add some extra bits of information so YouTube knows it's a 3D movie. Go to your uploaded videos page, then under Video Information, add this text into the Tags field. If you upload videos directly from MovieStorm, it'll do this for you automatically whenever you add a 3D movie. You probably want to preview your movie in 3D before putting it up onto YouTube. You do this in the Cutting Room view. Click the Preview button to get a full screen preview. Now click the 3D button and select the type of glasses you have. Your movie is now in 3D. When you're making a movie for 3D, you need to do a few things differently. Close-ups don't always work well. Stick with longer shots where you can. It takes people a few seconds to get into a 3D shot, so don't edit too fast. Action scenes can be tricky. 3D done this way always looks a bit odd because of the red-blue separation, so be careful when using strong colored lighting. If you use the depth of field control when composing your shots, you can put the background out of focus and the characters will stand out even more. You can put titles and credits on and they will always appear to float in front of the movie. You can combine 3D with cell shading and other filters. Some work well, others don't. Experiment with different settings and see what you can get.